doing 400 together. It seems like a miracle engine. It seems to run really nice on the street. Don't know why, huge cam, doing everything it shouldn't do. We got it at the track, and we pulled the plug, it's lean, and I mean lean, lean, lean. So, it's anorexic lean. So we got a... That's lean. It's lean. We jetted it up front and back a lot. We got a fresh plug in it, we're gonna go give her a shot, see what it does. I will say this, from lean to jet, it got a lot faster. Yeah. And we'll see if it gets a lot faster again. We're Run, on street tires. Running street tires today. So we just raised the two-step a couple hundred RPM. We'll see what that does. See if the old man's clutch work does the good job. I think the clutch is working pretty good with that so, tune, so. Anyways, we're going to go make another lick. You'll get vidges. <laughs> White. Yeah, it's white all the way up in. Another four jets everywhere. Don't really want to mess with the front very much for my street driving. I don't know if you're gonna get it in back or not. To be honest with you, I don't know either. I don't know if I'm short of fuel system either. Is it fuel system or what? You know. Well, it doesn't look like it's leaning out going down the front. Here. All right, guys. Most all you watching is no one getting is all about just that somebody's gonna ask me. Just explain it quick. So we're running through fuel through this carburetor, mixing it with air. And we can adjust how much fuel we run through it a couple of different ways. One main way is jets. So you got a hole in here, and this is 92. I suppose it's probably right around 92,000, depending on yeah, the Yeah, it depends on carburetor. Probably is 92,000. Usually. So let's say you got your 92 jet in there. You're gonna run a hell of a lot more fuel than the smallest one to get, which is 64. See the hole in that one, see the hole in that one. Exactly. So oh. that's siphoning fuel at a faster rate. Yep. Well, all that stuff goes, it gets pulled through the metering block here. And this is different emulsion circuits. It ends up coming out through these into the booster. And the booster, as the air goes down by the carburetor, it draws the fuel through this plate, through the booster, down into the carburetor. So by adding more fuel, we're adding more fuel to our air fuel mixture. Exactly, because we're running out. lean. And our plug is white lean, and what will happen is we'll end up detonating this thing and hurting it. We'll break a ring land off a piston or we'll do something. Because it pre-ignites with uh, lean fuel condition. I have no timing in it. You guys, some of you guys that saw the plug from before that know what you're looking at, you're going to say, oh, he's got no timing in it. Well, I, you're right. I have no timing in it. I have no timing in it for a reason. I'm trying to... So figure out if we're going to kill it or not. We're going to see if this jet change makes the appropriate... If I get enough fuel in it to make it happen, run, we'll I'm put timing in it. We're going to put timing in it. And then we're going to see how she does. Because right now it is slower on mile an hour than it should be, which is lean and with no timing in it. Because it pulls good out the top, though. Like it, it, yeah. it feels it really good. It feels good, but it's just not fast. But, uh, you know, it's not... It, it's... For sure, you... I mean, it ain't running how it should. Well, plus two. I mean, it needs to really turn more RPM in this turn, but yeah. we can't do any of that shit. So this is this is fuel. just we're doing safety measures. So yeah. here we are. We got to get fuel in it first, and then after we get the fuel in it, we'll do more. So we're gonna go do some carburetor stuff. <laughs> We should be playing Final Countdown. And it looks the same. How the hell? So. Dude, we've added. So. I'm hundreds of jet sizes. Thinking this is at the point where we realize that the fuel system does not keep up. <sighs> Pull another spark plug that we've been and it's white right down in the porcelain. The timing looks. It goes faster when we add fuel, so it, it is responding it to the jets. It looks present. It's responding to the jet change. Sure. 
it responded really well before the 330. That's where I think it's picking up all the time. I think it is happier, but I think it's kind of running. What the mile an hour do? Uh, I have to check. So, just, that's that. Well, let's pull another one. We were 92. Pull another Where's one. You're reading plugs. Add, add race fuel to it. Yeah, the oxygen booster. Burns orange. It is amazing how orange it is. Everything's stained orange in your vehicle. Still see the timing mark really clear, though. Yep. Timing's up there safe. Way the hell out there on the end. We could add a couple degrees to it to try it, but I mean, I think. I think honestly. It does look a little darker around the edges, though, with the race fuel, doesn't it? Maybe a bit. I mean, I think. Like this, up, up the side of the. I think at this point, unless we tried just throwing, like, the kitchen sink at the jets, I think we could admit that maybe. No, I, I don't disagree, but I, you know. Your pump's really old. Pump's old, pump's, you know. I mean, the, but the fuel line's also only 3.8, you know. It's a little, I mean, I, little dinky fuel line. I definitely know. It's quite a lot of motor for that much fuel. I definitely know a lot of people running a lot of power. A lot of what? I don't think it's the line. I think it's the pump. But... You guys are running a lot of power on a 3.8 liner injected. My big block Chevelle only made five something. I don't think it was the line. I think it was the. Pump. I had an electric fuel pump. It, was the tank. it may have been the pickup. I don't know. So, anyways, this is no bueno. I mean, we could take the back off and put the jet right fucking to it. I think it's the front too, Dad. I don't think you can argue that. It drives around fatter now. Like bad or? Nope. No, but it's definitely chunkier than it was. I mean, I think we just tried throwing the kitchen sink at it, see if it does anything. If it doesn't, say, okay. I thought we already had thrown the chicken sink, the kitchen sink at it was the problem, but. Percy's was 88s and 96s or some shit on this carburetor. So, I mean, I, that's what it needed. So. Let's give it a shot. Let's do it. MSD cameras, they don't make it anymore. It's inductive spark, and we think that's throwing off our plug check. Because it definitely sped back up. It still bogged a bit though when we left, which is a bit strange. Could be just weather change. It's going from 33 to 36. It's 33 now, you're going 36? Correct. Okay. So we can adjust our timing. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of lights you can't up. see anything. Well, the um, grid there, we're going to set our timing here. I, I got 37 base in the distributor. We had four pulled out of it. Right? Sure. What did we have pulled out of it? What did we have pulled out of what? We were pulling four degrees before? I don't know what you're... I think we were 37 you're base. 37 base, you're at 33, yeah. Yeah, so you're going to... the 36. You're going to put three bag in it? So you're timing, you're pulling on the, you're not pulling any on the, oof, I got a loose screw there. You're not pulling any on the hit. Video. So I can tell you, driving it, 36 is too much at the hit. That's, I think we've established that. And I can tell you, driving it, we're out of fuel system. With timing, I can feel it. I get to the top, it lays over. At the top of third gear, I had it was done. Yeah, I could see it. So. I heard it coming in to running out of fuel. Yeah, yeah, it tried. It tried earlier, but I mean, I was Ran like, there was no question. I'm out of fuel. So we okay. have, so we, fuel system. we lack fuel system. I, with timing, with it, without timing in it, I couldn't feel it, and, and it seemed to live. But with timing, ain't no way. No, I thought I was like let out of it. Like, what are you doing? Like, 
from the back, it sounded really bad. You, you may have sounded worse than it, like like it was a little. Yeah, I'm sure it sounded worse than it felt. Cause it, it was, was a little breaking. iffy, but then it was like it was breaking up for a long time. So. It was done. So yeah, yeah. so that's interesting. Yeah. Well, that is confirming our suspicion at least. Yeah, no, I know for a fact we're out of fuel system. So, so. we played musical jets. We played musical jets a lot. We sort of did get too much jet in it to slow it down, but it slowed it down early where we were not in a problem for fuel. Exactly. But, and like there, it was plenty fucking spicy. It, it, it was really spicy. Yeah, I put 50 in the leaves, but I pulled five degrees out of it to try and... You little jerk. <laughs> I wanted to go fast. So you put how much in the leaves? 50 RPM. Only 50 RPM. And I pulled two extra degrees. I pulled five total. I don't make no sense at all. And must be the clutch. Still spun time. It must be just to get the weights of the clutch. So he needs to go back down to the other RPM on street tires. Evidently, it's 3,500 is just... So now so now I don't know if we have too much timing at, at 3,500 or not. I, I, I mean, we can adjust the timing anyways, but it, evidently it's not... I ain't going to run it again like that. It's, no. it's we got to do something with fuel. got to do a lot with fuel. I mean, I think I need a bigger fuel line all the way up through and a better pump. I don't want to put an electric pump on it. I also don't want to buy one of those $400 piston pumps. Actually, here's interesting. All bullshit aside, the leave was perfect. You see it, it hits the tire nice. That extends Oof. the front end. It wrinkles that tire. Yeah, but it's just right once it fully extended the front end. It got the front end off the ground with straight tires. Okay, so it topped out the shock, and topping out the shock... Pissed it off. Pissed it off and induced wheel spin. With street tires. So there you go. How in the hell... You what, did a wheelie on street tires, dude. How were those shitty street tires am I doing a wheelie? You did a wheelie on street tires. Well... Now, yeah. I know this is going to sound stupid, but you need tighter shocks for your street tires. <laughs> Maybe we just need to put some air in the street tires. I think some air might be good. But honestly... What that would tell me there is we could probably use the RPM because it actually liked it better on the hit there. Well, we need to pull more timing. So I think, but we could, I could extend the timing. Point. But I think that clutch is coming in too quick there. It is a little bit. I mean, I think, I think honestly we need to so pull. So we could mess with some, I'm saying. I think with your added timing and pull the RPM back we out can, of it. We can get more 60 foot time out of the car on street tires. But look what it's doing to these tires. Look at, look at the sidewall. You notice that? Yeah, that's been on the track, hasn't it? It's been on the track. The sidewall is getting on the track here, leaving. We're, we're, we're crushing the tire. And this is this this is just a damn, like, yeah. this is a nothing tire. It's a 255.60, too. It's not like it's a big tire, either. No. I mean, it's Yeah, a, look how checked the outside. Look at the glue checked on the outside yeah. of your tire. Like, right on that edge. Like, it's a damn sportsman. Holy shit, look at the rubber you put up in the fender, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus this Christ. is like a sportsman ST, and the track's not super prepped today. No. That's crazy. Well, that's interesting. That's like some science channel stuff. You need to go show Nick that. He was saying it was cool on the street tires. Go show him that. <laughs> yeah. So it threw a fit because the shocks topped out too quick. Yep. Really, yep. truly. It, but also, I think the clutch is coming in. I, I think the 36 is letting that clutch work, or I can slack the clutch off. I'll be honest with you. I think right now, today, if those shocks would have been tighter, it wouldn't have spun. Probably not. But I Probably not. But, I mean, they're 9010s. What am I going to do? They do have, I think they do have three sets, they don't, don't they? No? They're base 90 tens. Yeah. Now, you could maybe get some with the three settings. Well, or I could get some really good ones, but it's, I think, uh, so yeah, interesting. I think when we start needing good shocks with street tires, I, little cow tracks and leaf springs are no joke. I'm telling you. I'm, yeah, I'm impressed, actually. That's, because you're getting kind of what's available there. I got all of it. Except for fuel system, I'm out. Yeah, the fuel system is mediocre, maybe at best. They have a really nice piston pump that I was always wanted for the modified, for the dirt modified. What do you mean a piston pump? It's a piston pump, fuel pump. Okay. It's literally a piston pump. It's a billet piston pump. They're four hundred dollars. Yeah, but Holly makes that big, like hundred and eighty gallon an hour uh, one, just like that. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Know a bunch of guys I did that and ran that half inch fuel line up through it. And maybe bought a new tank, welded a something to it. But I mean, I may be just running short of fuel there too, because we've run it quite a bit. And maybe yeah, running away from the pickup. Running away from the pickup. Well, but we absolutely need fuel. Time for some mods. Yeah, it's time for a burger. And a burger. Stop and get a good burger. Perfect. 
Wonderful. Well, there. That's interesting. An yeah. interesting update. So, 12 O's on street tires. The day we learn. <laughs> 12 O's on street tires with no yeah. real timing in it and running out of fuel. So. Yeah. It, it, it definitely is spicy with timing. I definitely it needs, feel like we're going to be able to go pretty deep 11s on street tires. On street tires. It's going to be pretty spicy on on uh, with timing now. I mean, to think that's what your 327 ran on 327 on Slex. 327 on Slex with 488 gears. This is still 390 gears. This is like, street. this is street trim. Through the exhaust. It's exactly the way I drive it every day. And I'm curious, if we dump the caps off. This is going to pick up 50 horsepower. The header, not the hubcaps. No, the header. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh yeah yeah, yeah. huh that's pretty cool so, i can't believe you pulled the front wheels of those doggone tires that I, doesn't... Guess, I, I don't know i'm fascinated by seeing how fast we make it street trip it is it's like, become some weird obsession with me now i think it's cool i like the street trim deal i think it's a i know one thing it ain't going an ounce faster without fuel system no. not an ounce no, and i can tell that by your mile an hour and it your probably does you were you were just blocked it yeah. was willing to go 116. Yeah. It went, and here's the thing: it went 116 with 327. Yeah. It went Actually, I went a little faster. Now. It went 116 with 350, and it's now gone 116 with a 400. Yeah. You can't say that there's not something that's saying, okay, yeah. like this. I went a little faster a couple times there, but basically, yeah. basically that was my that was my wall. Immediate. So there is something definitely holding it back, and we know just from like torque and how it launches and. How it feels when it has gas in the carburetor. It needs fuel system. It definitely pulls around. Yeah, I know for sure. Well, at least we learned what we had to learn. I, I'm not surprised. Yep. I just I couldn't feel it until we had timing. It's cool how much we see coming out that way though, because the engine has the same total power out the back basically. But you get to see the cubic inch and the torque. Mm. You know, you've picked up. What did it run? 12. 1275 on the 327 on streets? 1280s even? 1270s? Yeah, it was high. I picked up a second with the slicks and the 48s. Yeah. So I would go 12 yeah. 0. So, so right. I think I was like 1299. Yeah, 1290. I, I think so, I was 1299. And then the, the 350, I think you were 1250s or something on street tires. What were we running the night I came and raced you? I thought I got it down to a 30 or something that night. 1240. We could look on the app there and see what night that was. So, picked up four tenths since the other night yeah the yeah it's the same mile now but i'm out of fuel we're no we're nowhere near, we're nowhere near seeing this engine no i understand that we're, all i'm saying is it's cool to see the difference in the torque yeah. to the no it's interesting yeah and like that really short track yeah. game is short track gained a lot but like you say up track we're not but but i i'm amazed it was out of fuel before the eight i'm not but I am. Now, with the 327, you remember I went through a spell where I was out of fuel at the quarter. Yes, I do. And I was flying to the eighth. Yes, I do. And for whatever reason, the 350 would carry me through the quarter. I don't know why. And then this one, this one won't even carry me through the eighth. Probably we've been bandaging an issue. Probably. Maybe there was a part coming and going. Maybe that pump has been coming and going. And Before we heard something, anyway, we need to just yeah. not bring it back until we... So, fuel system upgrade time on that. On that.